What is the use of a reactive form and how to use that with angular material? We're going to see that but after the intro. And go Hi everyone, this is Subhat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about all the programming languages, all the algorithms and all about the frameworks. So please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. In the previous video, I explained about what is a form and how to use the template driven form. If you don't know what is a template driven form, you can watch the previous video, I will link it there. It's not a complicated thing it's a pretty simple thing and temporary different form is for the basic scenario you, you, you will be more clear by watching that video and about this video is the when we are going to use a reactive form right like I explained in the previous video as well uh, that you know when you, you need a various type of application like complicated things multiple scenario one can be changed with the other so those type of scenario you can use reactive form and it's very powerful so it, you can use the whole power according to a requirement today we are going to implement a simple reactive form with by using angular material you can see all this meta tags and all it's already added but i will go ahead and again show you how to add that in your angular application it's pretty easy just go and type ng r then angular slash material so this will take care of all of your things so like i am using indigo pink as the default uh, this one default theme so it has four theme so i am saying yeah i need hammer the js for animation and all that we will cover later and uh, yeah you need the animation so it's uh, updating my package.json so it will install all the things now here here it will show in which places is added the file like it's updated app.ts and style.css okay main.ts you will see it's added hammer just trace here if i go to the style.css it added these things okay i just added a new background color to the body so it's it again added the same thing so i don't need this one you can go to the angular cli dot json like angular json previously it was angular cli dot json now it's angular json it add it will add like the theme that the css file and what the extra thing i did here is uh, for every component okay for if you want to use a button if you want to use a, a form if you want to use a anything any material they have a single module so what I did I just created a file okay and I imported all the modules from the material that that is mat button input form field card radio button snack bar this Think something we, some we are not using to today and added it and it exported the value so that we can add the hole in the app module.ts here okay so it's now if we if we're going to add all these things it will be it will become bigger and this this is not the all there are a lot of things are there in the material you can go to the angular material documentation they have pretty good one you can go through it and you will get a lot of things there so this is how you configure the material to your application now we'll come to the reactive form using material okay so i'm using a card here so this will be the form so this is a card and uh, having email field and a name field when you hit submit i say email is required name is required so when you add a email like it will saw like email is fine okay so and for the name i will say subhat the same i just added a four length like the previous video and 
the these things now if you hit save it no error came because this all everything is valid i'm going to show you how this is working okay so here this is a card like a mat card is for the card and i have added a h1 for material form that is this one and we add a material form field new things come here is the form control that is form reactive form and one more thing you need to add reactive form module in your app module.ts like reactive form module add the reactive form to your application uh, and import it here so that you can use that in your application and it will enable all the facilities and all okay functionalities and all so the form control it says email form control and okay first i will go here so we created a form control which is again email form control and the name form control again form control is from angular form and validators are also ang from angular forms okay so we are giving form control this is a default value okay if it is a number you will give a null so this is a default value so it will accept a array of validator so here we are saying validators dot required required means you know required and email email means it will check the regex it have some some value at the rate some value if you are giving dot then some value so it's fun of heuristic at the rate gmail.com so mm, uh, those things so the email check re regex check that you can be handled by this one and if you go for the uh, name form control okay you, this is the same you have a uh, empty value then it's required and min length is 4 uh, so I'm giving the 4 min length there you can see uh, here like uh, if I say name if I click on my else, 4 character and this went on off okay uh, so here you have min length max length pattern uh, and lots more like min value max value you can for to check you can just do like this for validators and dot hit come space mean length max length mean max then you can go ahead and check which uh, pattern is there which all the things you can uh, check the main benefit is suppose you are calling this method you can reassign the value okay you can reassign the value with new validators on change of some condition suppose if uh, like if you write if x and suppose x is 2 here that what you can do you can reassign all the value like uh, uh, I can need a form you can reassign all the value in of mean length 4 you can mean length 89 not 8 it's, it's 8 now in if x is true it will it will follow that mean length should be 8 so it's on the fly you can change all the value so this is just i'm saying you can reinitiate as well and in the matter we are giving a ng if that's saying that this email form control has error of email this email okay the the this one this email is the nothing but the same as this field here okay so this the validator you have different validators so this email is of that and, and the same the required is from required and uh, we have a email uh, required here also you, you don't just you don't need this one uh, if that is safe to be given because both the condition is uh, matches okay if you go here you can check that if I want to submit the like if so you previously and I went out from that is saying please enter a valid email address here if say if I will write uh, this uh, suppose Subrat and I want to submit okay so here you can see user can now able to submit you can block this also you can show a pop-up message that yeah this is not valid is is already seeing it's not valid if you're not submitting the form if I added some value this will go if I again added a dot it's saying asking asking a value 
then I will I can add some value and it will went off now both the forms are valid if I do some value now this form is not valid so what you can do you can add a disable option here like uh, you can add it here like disabled I will make this as a property binding and uh, I will add these two form controls okay so not it will disable when email control is valid it will disable when email control is not valid you can write not valid or you can write invalid also uh, and now what you will do it will check uh, the both it will check that oh, okay the name email form control if everything is valid that, that means it has a, it is an email or according to the regex and it will check that yeah there's some value so both the condition is valid and here also in the name case it will check the yeah the min length is 4 so it's uh, has some 4 or more, more value and obviously it has some 4 more value means required in if this two cases pass and though in those two cases passes then it will go ahead and enable the button else it will be disabled like now you see user can input here like uh, when I will add one of heuristic still it's disable and I will add dot com still is disable because the name is not enabled just just keep on watching I will when I will add the fourth a letter it's became enabled now the user can submit and you can get the data store it to the server or write to a file and you can do whatever you want so this is what reactive form can do reactive form can do a lot of other things like i just explained about form control there is a form group as well form group has a multiple of form control you can use that group to make some validation and changes uh, it will be kind of remain kind of same usually use a group with that group can refer to a multiple form controls and that form controls can be used here so that's it for today so today you saw how to use reactive form with angular material and how to conditionally change validation and how to build a pretty good user experience with reactive form please hit the like button if you like it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please comment down below in the comment section share this video among your friend we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye